Going to prison doesn't always mean it's the end of your life. So let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? Shout out to all the law-abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. If this is your first time on the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. So how is everybody doing today, man? It is Saturday, hot in South Georgia, as always. Man, um, couple of things before I get into this. Number one, I do have another video. I was going to upload a video yesterday, man. I know I've been promising you guys content for a long time and um I did have it uploaded but as you're gonna see in that video whenever it finally does drop I have an explanation for like the first five minutes of the video um that basically tells what I've been going through with YouTube and I'm sure you probably heard it from other creators that you've watched YouTube is a really big hassle with this demonetization thing and so the video that I did yesterday for you guys it was awesome but it's just sitting there uploaded and waiting because I had to challenge the demonetization or basically request a manual review because it seems like for us prison channels they are demonetizing every single one of our videos um if we just say anything the word prison I said all this in the other video so I'm not going to be too repetitive but for some reason they're just like off the rip limiting or restricting the ads on our channel and as a lot of you know that's a way that us as creators can make a little bit of side money to keep going and create, you know, content right on and right on without having to ask our subscribers for, you know, uh, donations or, you know, buying our stuff or anything like that, which there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, Google is a huge company, so it makes us feel good to be able to get a check from them. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, with that being said, man, today I've got a really uh, positive video, I guess you would call it like you see in the title when you clicked on it this is about a young man who is incarcerated in the georgia department of corrections and has turned one of the most negative situations that you could probably face into a huge positive i mean this guy even blows me away like i thought i had a positive story with me writing my book and everything and getting out after being in and out four and five six times um 16 years and i thought my story was uh positive success story but this young man it's amazing so I'm going to show you some pictures from him and a video that he has but basically I'm not going to say his name because I reached out to him via Instagram and I asked him if I could do this story and he said that was okay he also said that I could use his video so I do have permission but he also mentioned to me that he's going to be up for parole in September and he can't go viral again because this young man actually went viral I can't remember exactly how many views that this video got but I know it was in a lot of national news publications about what he was doing man because it's so it's such a big thing you're gonna see what I'm talking about but basically what he's doing he is currently incarcerated in the Georgia prison system and he is he's making his own clothing and it I mean, it speaks for itself. You're going to see from the videos. It's very trendy looking, fashionable, and um, I'm guessing that, you know, he's making it from the inmate uniforms plus whatever they can get on the commissary. But man, it's amazing the creativity and the talent that goes into this. So um, I just, I'm in awe of this young man because what he has done, he has gotten famous and went viral while he's in there. And now, so whenever he comes home, he's going to have such a huge start with being successful with his clothing line because he made these eye-catching outfits from behind bars and it got him all this attention, but he actually does sell his own clothing already. I'm assuming through like a Teespring store or a Shopify or something like that, man, but it's just amazing like you can't do anything but applaud somebody like this for their hustle their drive their ambition and their desire to do something because i can tell you right now georgia is not that far removed from your south carolinas and your mississippis and alabama prison system it's a, a very dead-end place a lot of guys in there are gang time negative activity violence you know drugs and everything and here is a young man that is using his time to do something positive like this and it takes a long time to do this stuff because I know guys that used to make clothes and stuff in the feds, not on this level, but it would take them hours and hours and hours. So that means this guy is sitting in his cell, he's out the way, and he's doing something constructive. 
Now, if you are a miserable hater, please click off this video. Don't leave your comments, man, because I know that anybody could get on here and say, well, he's not supposed to be doing that. He's got an illegal cell phone. He's still in the uniforms and this and that. And the third, first of all, you don't know what's going on. You, you don't even know if that's actually his phone. Maybe his homeboy's doing it for him. Regardless, kill the negativity, man. You make the best of a bad situation, and that's what you do. Don't be miserable, and don't be a hater, and a piece of shit just because you couldn't do it. So, please don't leave those kinds of comments. It, it really is counterproductive, man. We're trying to have these guys coming out to the streets better than when they went in. Like I told him in my messages to him, man, I I don't get anything from this. I don't get any kind of benefit, but I am going to ask you guys, follow this man on Instagram. His username is 2500 Santana. That's 2500 Santana. Um, you can't miss him. The You can clearly tell the pictures. You know that he is incarcerated, but the clothes look really good. Um, also in that Instagram, he has a link to his website where you can buy some of his clothing and his gear that he has for sale. So like I said, man, this is absolutely free plug. I don't get anything for this. I just respect this man for what he's doing and I'm hoping that he makes it and gets out of there in September and makes it big, man. So y'all go check out his Instagram, go buy some of his clothes, man, because they look really, really good. Also, before I click off of here. There is a guy who's got a new prison channel. Um, I don't think he talks too much about prison, but he does talk a lot about recovery, man, which is awesome. Um, I've never been a drug addict or anything like that, but I know a lot of people that are. It affected my life in a major way because of my mother, who is currently incarcerated. Um, she has been an addict my whole entire life, which in my early years allowed me to be able to run the streets and be a knucklehead. So uh, this guy... I want you guys to go and check out his channel. He's just starting. He's growing. I mean, he's he's in his infant stages, but he's putting out good stuff, positive messages. His channel is called The Recovery. I'm pretty sure that it used to be called The Blind Recovery because I've had a couple of conversations with the guy, and I'm pretty sure that he told me that he was legally blind. Um, and to be honest, I can't really remember if he was actually incarcerated, but I know that his brother is. So um, check him out. It was a funny thing. I was watching one of his videos earlier and the guy actually looks like Ethan Hawke, the actor. <laughs> so I told him that. But um, besides all that, man, positive thing. Support all these prison channels, man. I mean, some of us are blowing up. Some of us aren't. But I think that everybody has a different and unique story to bring to the table. And the more that we have out there, um, no matter what perspective it's from, the more people in the public will know what is going on man um there's another channel she hasn't done a whole lot of growing but her name is uh women locked up before and after check her out um let's just support all the small channels man i can't really think of any more off the top of my head because a lot of the channels have actually surpassed me and gotten bigger than me so um click over there man give them a sub give them some views some likes and all that good stuff man because every little bit helps and I just realized that you guys haven't seen that other video I was talking about because it's just sitting there waiting. So I didn't get to explain all this. So basically, I am in my daughter's room. I've set up my little studio in here. All she ever does is sleep over here in the crib. I know you can't see it, but you can see behind me like her toys and stuff like that. So that's where I'm at, man. I'm up in my youngest daughter's room. She's four and uh, doing my thing. And like I said, she uh, she don't mind. 
She doesn't spend a whole lot of time in here. She's always up under us, aggravating us until we're about to go crazy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the content, man. And I hope you guys can go out and support everybody that I mentioned in this video. Y'all have a good one, man. Until next time. Thank you.